So back in 2013, I did a presentation in the PHP UK conference about TTD. And right at the end, someone raised their hand and asked a question. Marcelo, you've been talking about TTD and well, we know you're certainly involved in a BDD community. Uh, you've done this work with PHP spec. So what's, what's the difference between you know, one thing and the other? What's the difference between TDD and BDD? Um, so my answer is you know, the same. They're, they're, they're the same thing. I answered the same thing. So actually, it raised more confusion than actually clarified. Because if they're, they're named differently, certainly there's got to be some differences between them two and people struggle to understand the, the difference between BDD and TDD. Um, so because there isn't much out there explaining the difference, there's certainly some references that you can find. For example, the North had tried to explain how the, the two intersect. There's a blog post called uh, TDD is BDD if uh, you can find on his blog post, uh, on his website. But uh, certainly um, worth noticing that the tooling around uh, BDD has um, somewhat um, kind of highlighted what is it about BDD that added to the initial practice from which it actually evolved. And so Dunoff says that you know BDD seems to involve a larger number of stakeholders. If you go back in time and you see that even before tooling, tooling around acceptance testing like Cucumber that allow you to write very uh, custom friendly uh, tests that you, you can actually describe the behavior of applications. You have had in, in, the, in the community other tools and classically speaking you can, uh, it's worth mentioning Fit from Ward Cunningham and Fitness which is an, a, like an, a, an, a new version of it done by uh, Uncle Bob, uh, Robert Martin. So FIT was written initially in C++ and what it, what it was is that you as a business you could describe um, the behaviors and give examples in actually a spreadsheet and you can use a spreadsheet to like, a very business friendly way uh, and that would then generate a test and run against the expected results. So this is FIT and this is uh, you know even before the Agile Manifesto they, they, they're doing things like that. Uh, so Dan North uh, started talking about BDD around 2003 in an office which is really at the back of this building here, um, uh, ThoughtWorks, when they had, he was training people on test-driven development and the word test seemed, seemed to be confusing them. So Dan North um, worked on the ways of using examples, using the given when then language, which I'm, I'm th I think it, it comes from Chris Matz's influences into to the process. So it was just another way of um, including the business closer into the process, but this is not something new that, can, uh, that Dan introduced. So Dan just um, made it more explicit that this is a part of the process, what actually got forgotten perhaps during the initial days of Agile mostly because of the use of the word test, which actually confused a bit. Uh, of course, the, the, the importance of verifying things and making things that things work is there, but, uh, but apart from that, there is an, an element in that um, outside in acceptance test, going into the unit test, uh, with using fitted outside and perhaps uh, other techniques, uh, uh, S-unit for the small talk community or J-unit for the Java community, on the inside, that's outside in, in uh, testing already existed before, and with with um, Dunn North, it's just a way of illustrating that this is the process that got forgotten because people are thinking, oh, just testing, testing, we have to test everything, like test everything, and the test has the, the word test has the connotation of ref, verifying things, make sure that things work, which ends up uh, taking you to the wrong mindset when you're approaching <laughs> test driven development. Because most and foremost, um, you get um, you get with the objectives to write um, 
uh, things that really software that matters. Software that it's it's good quality and qu quality doesn't just mean that the, the idea that software works, but it works in the best way and produced the uh, it produced in a very focused manner. It produced what is more meaningful for the customer at some point. So if you if you look back at the right beginning extreme programming community, uh, you know you have um, you have of course Kent Beck and Ward Cunningham, but also Uncle Bob is a part of that community, and you have uh, Martin Fowler is also a part of that community, and they're talking about yes, let's build customer valued software, and with emphasis on um, quality and this the whole craftsmanship and building good software. But, and then it's very easy for people to kind of see this quality, this word quality means um, just accuracy, things are working and, and there's an element of that but also there's an, an, another element of testing which is when you write software, when you test your software before you actually write your code, you, you're, making, you're building a module that access your code and the, the fact that that module is able to access your code to test it, it creates a decoupling. So you're writing decoupled code right from the beginning, you're, you're writing better code, you write code that uh, very express very clearly what is meant to do. So there's an element of design and communication and clarity that it's gained through this process. And of course that becomes even more obvious if you use a language of uh, specking, uh, specifying the behavior of your code, so that the word behavior has so much meaning in the in in inner context, like describing the behavior of objects and classes, as well as on, on, on the outside when you're talking to the customer and you're specifying what is meaningful software, you, sp you can use the language of behavior there as well. So the word behavior is quite central to, to the collaboration and to the communication aspect of test driven development and therefore behavior driven development is just uh, a technique or a, a, a methodology that evolves from test driven development or test driven design that make, makes a use of behavior as a common language and, and, and make it more obvious that the intention here is to communicate how things are supposed to work and what is it that is most important for the customer at any point in time. So that was, that was the intention that Don North had uh, in, in, in developing, initiating uh, Behavior and Develop, I believe. And uh, as a trainer, I, I quite bias around, uh, about it because I think it really helps me train people on TDD. It certainly has helped me understand TDD a lot better. And if, I, if, if it does that well for you, if BDD can help you understand what TDD is for, then BDD has uh, achieved its its goal for you as a as a developer, and f and for the business is inclusion. So it's the whole idea is uh, to make people understand the so the software agile software development is about collaboration and bringing these two words together, um, business and technology, to kind of uh, a, a space of empathy, a space of full collaboration, so the the best possible solutions can be created with both understanding the forces that are involved in, in both ends. So um, that's the communalities and differences are just on the, are just really on the outside and uh, on, the, on the inside they're both uh, directed to the same goals. Perfect.